My name is Amandi Pender. It's uh, like A M A N D E E P, and last name is P A N D H E R. So, where do you live, and have you always lived here? Uh, I we live uh, I live in Wyoming, Laramie, Wyoming. Uh, we moved here in 2014. Since five years. I'm sorry. Six. This is meaning interrupting. Uh, you were saying five years. Uh, uh, and where where have you lived before Laramie? Before Laramie, I lived in Denver. Before that, I lived lived in Fort Morgan. And uh, have you always lived in the United States, or? No, I came United States in two thousand nine. Okay. From India. Okay. So, uh, so what was uh, just having lived in two countries? What's the diff biggest difference between Laramie, Wyoming, and India? What are the big differences? There is a big difference. I love Lermi. Um, obviously, now I live here with my family, my husband, my kids, and we have business here. And uh, it's, I see it's much better than India. That's why we came from India to here. And so, um, what was it that brought um, brought you to Lermi? Why Lermi? What, what, what was your origin story to get to Lermi? Uh, we had a trucking company before. And uh, we uh, bought this truck stop in 2014, September 2014, and we moved here for the business. And so um, you mentioned trucking. Um, uh, what's uh, what was why trucking? Why did you guys choose trucking as as a as a, as a business uh, before you did the truck stop? Why, what was about trucking that was appealing to you guys? I think uh, so many uh, people like Indi Indian people, they, they are doing trucking. So it's uh, your own, uh, you can start like your own, you can buy your truck, trailer and start your own company. Then you can hire some more drivers, buy more trucks. Then you can make a big company. And uh, there are some pros and cons also. Like some people, they love to do jobs. Some people, they love to uh, do their own stuff, like own business. Mm -hmm. So, and uh, some Indian people, uh, six mostly with beard and turban. Um, it's good, bus good for them to drive a truck. There are so many other jobs. Uh, they are not like, it's not. There are some mandatory, uh, some some problems. They don't uh, do. They don't can't do those jobs with by having uh, beard and turban but this is the industry trucking if you have your own truck then it's a it's it's a good business and good job for them to do so so fo so for folks who aren't familiar with Sikh community what is the Sikh community um, and what makes the Sikh community what it is Sikh is like Sikh means seeker of truth so it was founded by our gurus. Guru Nanak was the first guru. And uh, what they said, do the hard work. And uh, whatever you make, uh, you have to like donate 10% from your earnings. So six are the people who work hard, who are brave, who can fight, who can do like anything for their community. They help each other. And um, how does it compare to uh, the other religions in India? Is it is it a, a separate from Hindu? Separate? Yeah, it's separate from Hindu. There are so many religions in India. Sikhs are separate than Hindus. Yeah, and so there's there's a lot of community behind Sikhs. Uh, so can you kind of share kind of what what is what are the elements of a Sikh community and what makes it special to you? It's special to me because uh, Sikh are the people who are, they are brave, who are hardworking. If they decide to do uh, anything, they can do. Like you can see, six are there in the in the government here in U.S. in Canada. You can see uh, they are running businesses. They work hard. That's the most important thing about them. They can work hard. And, and so there, there's um, uh, some some folks may have seen uh, what the Sikh communities have been doing throughout any time disaster happens. Can you explain that? That kind of uh, that practice and what the name of it and what that why you do that what's the the heart behind it? 
Yeah, six help uh, all over the world. Now you can see uh, around uh, during this time COVID-19, six are giving free food to the people. You can see in each and every country, like Australia, US, Canada, uh, we have temples. Temples, they are uh, like serving free foods in India, everywhere. They are giving free food. They are even going to homes. And, and what's that practice called? It's a, it, it was started by our Guru, Guru Nanak Dev. It's, it was called Langar before. He started it. So you have, like it's a free food, free kitchen for the people. And, and so, um, as, as your husband and you were building the trucking company, wh where were you doing that? And then what led to you, what was, what, what brought, why, why did you choose Laramie to do a truck stop? Um, when, uh, when we have a four trucks, then we saw this was on sale and my, my husband, when he, he was here, he's here since 2000 and he was in this business before and, uh, he knew how to do it and he had much experience in the like convenience stores. So that's why we decided let's, let's b do this again. We bought this store and now we have five stores. So where are all your stores? Uh, we have uh, two in New Mexico, Santa Rosa, New Mexico on I-40. And we have two in Wyoming here. And uh, we have one in Nebraska on I-80. And so um, uh, what was this truck stop like when you bought it? And what is it like today? This truck stop was like a ran down property first near to close. This truck stop was doing 15,000 gallons per month when we bought it. And we put some money, we did hard work, and it, it, it's growing slowly. Now we are going, doing like more than 1 million gallons per month. And we, we are getting uh, so many offers from big companies. And so, um, when you were creating this truck stop, um, what are the elements of it that kind of make it that 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 make it your element? It's different than when most people think of truck stops, they're thinking of like uh, the Sap Brothers and the and the Loves, but yours is a is a mom and pop business. Yes. What what are when someone comes to your truck stop, what do they find? Um, first thing we 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 never make so much profit. For us, ten fifteen cents are good per gallon. The fuel is always cheap here. We have so many customers, they are with us since five years. When we started, they are still with us. They are getting fuel here. And then we put the restaurant in. So not even, not the Punjabis, even the Russian, Americans, everybody love Indian food. So then if you have food, you have uh, like cheap fuel, then it's, it's very good for the drivers. Then they can come and good, good customer service. That's what you need to do. And you, you also have um, uh, a temple here? You yes, we put a temple also. Anybody can go to the temple and do the prayer. Everybody does there. Americans, Hindus, Sikhs, everybody go there. It's always open. And so um, uh, you're building a business, but you're building a family too. So how Yes, it's, it's like a family. All of, all of our employees are like a family. So, um, what would you miss most if you had to leave um, Laramie? As if you and your family had to leave Laramie, what would what would you miss most? I can't do that. I cannot leave. Uh, I went to India for five days, and I was so sick there. I missed everything here. I love this place. I love. We made it. This is like a kid to us. Mm -hmm. We so, put so much efforts. So. Um, in, in, in one or two words, how would you describe the year 2020 so far? And then why would you choose that one or two word? 2020. It's good for some people. It's bad for some people. For us, it's good. Not that bad. And why, why would you say that? What's, why is it good for you? Um, we, we are making good money. Our business was good. We were running the most important thing is still our business is running during this time. 
that's the most important thing and we helped so many people we gave them food fuel we were open 24 hours so in those early days um uh, in the first few few weeks months what was your how did your daily life change at first it changed dramatically there was um you have to sit home with kids no school online school and uh, but uh, other things are good like financially we are good we we didn't hurt so much and, and so um how did that affect you emotionally uh, like with all the changes that were going on how were you feeling in those early days of covid it was bad there was one night i couldn't sleep because my husband was planning to go to india for a wedding with my son and i was so afraid so i was like please don't go and then after i think 3 4 days they shut down the all the flights and everything so it was bad for me in the starting i was scared so um what's it like for your family back in india right now what's what's happening with them yeah, they are good they are, they are staying home my in-laws are in india my mom and my brother is in india right now but for some people it's really bad Fi- they are financially they are like they are not making any money no jobs there are workers who who were making money every day but they are sitting home there is no work for them now so it's bad for them people are committing suicides mm. Mm. so um we're about 100 days into the pandemic um what's life like now it's good now now i think we are used to it 100 days it's good So um have you and your husband like seen a change in your habits or routines uh, because of the pandemic that that uh, and, and if so are there any of them that you would want to keep once we kind of come through this that, like new new habits and new routines that you weren't doing before Yeah there are so many new habits like uh getting uh, like uh, wash your hands so many times use sanitizer even even our kids have the new habits they know they know each and everything about what is coronavirus so there are certain habits so um you mentioned your kids you you want to explain um like uh who your husband's name you and then your kids and then who's coming as well like your their third child as well yes so you just you know, pretend like you're uh, you uh, you didn't, they didn't hear that question but just say you know talk about your family yeah uh, me my husband manjot pender and uh, our elder daughter tirath and my son sant and uh, we are having a baby girl soon in 3 weeks oh wow yeah so as a mother uh to be a third time what's it like to be pregnant during covid right now it 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 is bad it was bad before i was like so scared to even go to a hospital so it's a bad time to get pregnant and having baby for all the moms it's bad you have to go through so many emotions sentiments you you are thinking all the time for your new baby how how will the hospital how the hospital people will treat nobody can 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 visit you even you can't kid, take your kids with you how how they will stay at home without us because my husband to has have to have with, with me during labor time and i'm i'm all the time i'm thinking about my kids how they will do so it it is hard like if you leave your kids home for two days even someone is there to take care of them but it it's hard for a mother so what do you think uh, the biggest challenge for you has been during the pandemic uh we didn't went through much because my kids were home i was home safe and sound our business was good i don't think so there was but i was scared all the time mm. if someone is going somewhere my husband has to visit all the time he has to drive he has to go to nebraska new mexico i was scared for him i was scared for my employees my drivers 
that was the biggest challenge for us. So you have your company now um, has truck stops and still has trucking. Uh, yes, we have eleven trucks. We uh, haul fuel for our own truck on truck stops. Uh, yeah. Gotcha. So. Um, how does this challenge compare to any other big challenge you faced before? Yeah, this was the biggest challenge, but uh, again, our employees were, I'm very thankful to them. Nobody complained. If our driver said, no, we can't do this, we can't haul fuel for you, then how can we sell the fuel? If our employees said, your cashier said, no, I cannot, I'm I'm afraid I don't want to do this job. There are so many employees who quit this time. But our employees we don't have any issues. So we are very thankful for them. They helped us. Um how do you think your daily life will feel like in 2 years? Daily life in How do you think it will feel like in 2 years? In coming 2 years? Yeah, 2 years from now. My life will be same, <laughs> you know, with the kids, with office. If there is no school, then life will be more difficult. <laughs> uh, isn't that the truth? So, in the challenges you see with your business or within the community, what excites you about solving them? We, I don't know what we can, we can help the people. We have to help each other if there is someone who we uh, in April um, we sell fuel 99 cents per gallon in Lermi, Lermi city. So we decided to help the people who are not like millions of people right now they don't have jobs. They are applying for the unemployment. They are sitting home. So that's what we, we can do to help the people. We have to help each other. So, um, what, what are some things you wish people would know about the Sikh community? Uh, people have to understand that we, we are different from the Muslims and that, that's what they think. Uh, after 9-11, there are so many discrimination, so many uh, attacks on the Sikhs. People here, they, don't, they think we are the Muslims because of beard, turban. That's what they need to understand, that six are different. We are a different communi community. We, yeah. So, um, Wyoming is the least populous state in the United States. It's also 91% white. Yes. What's it like to live in that state when you are in a, in a, in a community, the sick community uh, that most people aren't even aware exists, but um, are definitely not part of the 91%. How, how, yes. What is I it think like? Yeah, we are all the, only one family here. Mm. Yeah, we, it's good to live here. We never had that issue. Never ever. Everybody loves us. We love everyone here. We don't have any issues like nobody face anything like not even our employees, us, nobody. Mm. We never had any this kind of issue. Never ever. So what was it like, um, there's in the last few weeks in America we've seen, because of the George Floyd incident, we've seen a whole bunch of conversation yes. around racial injustice. What, what was your reaction to the George Floyd incident? And then what are your observations of how the rest of the community has reacted to it? What, what's, it what's it like to see it from your viewpoint? It's a natural reaction. Um, I, I think it's bad. Nobody has to do this, we cannot kill anybody. Can it's you, a you. Can you, if you can you state on the front end, like uh, the the George Floyd, Floyd incident, so that people know. Okay. What you're about? Yeah. The George Floyd incident is was bad, so nobody has the right to kill someone. If you are finding someone something like this, you can go through the courts, and there are so many other options. It's not you have to kill someone. It's bad. And what was your, what was it like to watch how everyone reacted to it, like the protests and stuff like it's that? A, it's a natural because it's happening every year. You can see this every year. There are, um, I think one or two black people got killed every year. 
we are I am seeing this since I came here so it's a natural reaction so um, what do you think what if you think about in five years from today where you know what do you what are the one or two words that you would describe how you feel about what you think will life will be like five years from now life from five years from now will be good better I think it has to be we are live we live in USA so there are so many things happen every we saw so many things here you, you people of United States they face so many things like 9-11 and so many other like bad times but they always come through of it so it will be good time next five years will be good and so um, what is it about um, the, the United States that you 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 know that really draws you to the United States I mean you and your husband moved here what, what, what was the compelling reason to come to the United States? Like um, here uh, in the United States, this is the country of the immigrants. So in here, if you work hard, within five years, you will get paid back. But it's not like in India. In India, I went to school 12 years, then six years in school, uh, in college, but no jobs. No jobs for like... You have to pay money to get a job. So there are so many people who are sitting home with so many degrees. They are like, they don't have any jobs. They're just sitting home. But U.S. paid you back. If you work hard and you will get everything, whatever you want here in the U.S.A. So, is there any question that I should have asked you that I haven't? That uh, that maybe because I'm just meeting you for the first time, right? So, is there a question that you would like? You would love to answer. I don't think so. If you have anything, you can ask me. <laughs> uh, well, um, this is going to be um, published to the internet, right? And and we'll people will be watching it from all over, but also people watch it now and people watch it later, like years from now. Maybe even your kids will watch it and you'll be, they'll Google you and say, hey, mom was on there. This is mom's very first interview before she became an yeah, international movie star. Yeah, I didn't star. know how to before do she interview. A, before she became an international movie star. Um, <laughs> what message would you like to share with the people watching this right now? Oh, the message about... Whatever, you, whatever message you think they need to hear from you and your perspective. Love everyone, respect everyone. Doesn't matter black or white help everyone and this is the bad time we are going through so we need to understand each and everybody and help each other that's what we want that's what we do all the time if someone in need if someone had broken truck and car they ran out fuel or something we go like 20 miles 50 miles 100 miles to help them that's what everybody need to do so um you know as you as you're helping people through your business and through your community and um, how's that what, what does it feel like what's the feeling when you're helping people we feel so good even at night if my husband got call like I ran out of fuel I ha it's a minus temperature in minus here sometimes winters are bad here he go for we love to help people then uh, if some truckers they had any issues if someone want like not have uh, running heat in the car or something he can sleep in the temple or even here in my office so each and every day we are getting people who need help here with trucks cars and so many other people so we love to help and we feel satisfied that we we will be able to do something for someone that's what our Sikh communities does that's what our guru, gurus tell us to do Ah, so what are you looking forward? This is my last question for you. What are you looking forward to having three kids? What do you think life is? Oh, we are so excited. We are very happy. We are blessed to having a baby girl. We are very happy. Wow. And I'm just out of curiosity. What did you study at the university? What was your? Um, I did my um, master's in arts. Then I did my bachelor degree in education. Oh. Yeah. And, and it was all uh, for a, to become a teacher in India. Really? And yeah, I didn't get job, but 
um, I went to school to teach for one year to little kids. I love to go to school to teach the kids. Uh, what about your husband? Did he study at university? Yes. What did he study? Uh, he went to a, 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 he did his bachelor in arts. Mm. Yeah. And after that he came here. He's here since more than 20 years. Wow. Wow. So then he, he worked here, he worked hard. And he start, we started the business. Wow. He's a very hard working guy. I learned a lot from him. So, uh, what, I am, what I am today because of him. Oh, neat. Yes. So um, when he first got here, what was he doing? How did he? What was he doing? With um, he worked at the uh, gas stations. He worked at the like restaurants. Then he got a job in the uh, gas station, and uh, then he become um, district manager with a company. Uh, he learned a lot. Then he bought his own stores. So he did a lot. That's why we choose. Uh, convenience stores and all this business because he has so much experience in it. Hmm. Yeah. And, um, and I'm just curious, why did, he, uh, why did he go from running convenience stores to trucking? What was the appeal to trucking? Um, because if you have like a, a store, then uh, you have, you want to be your own truck so you can f haul your own fuel. That's what he, that's why he started. Mm -hmm. He bought his own fuel tanker so he can haul where, like right now, we are hauling from Texas to Montana. We go to each and every sta state. Where, wherever we found uh, like cheap fuel, we go there. If you have your own trucks, you can go and get cheap fuel from anywhere. Wow. So that's why, that's why he started this. Wow, so he was working so, at a convenience store. Yeah. And then he opened a convenience store and then yeah. he realized it's cheaper uh, to buy your own fuel, yes. so get a truck, Yeah. and now you're owning a trucking company. Yeah, now we have a trucking company and uh, stores also. Wow. Yeah. Wow. We go to Nebraska, we go to uh, Casper, we go to Montana, Texas, everywhere, <laughs> Kansas. Wow, anywhere the fuel's cheap. Yeah, anywhere we find cheap fuel, we go there.